John Henry. I'm dancing to the blues and I'm uh, doing three different dances. I'm doing the truck and the chicken and the mashed potato. I took all three and made a dance from it so and I always have to do it to a blues. When you were growing up, where where did you go dancing? We didn't have any place to go. We danced at home. We would meet in the, we would meet in different family members' homes, and we had a Victrola that you would wind up and play our records. But we had to meet in the homes. We had to dance in the homes. And as we got big enough, we moved the furniture out and made us a dance hall. <laughs> We'd slide the furniture out and have us a dance. And my father could play the fiddle, and he could also play a guitar, and he could also play a banjo. So he played some for us. When you were growing up, with the dancing in your house, uh, what did people call that kind of dance? Uh, they called it uh, buck dancing, and they called it uh, buck and wing, and they also, and then we also had the Charleston. See, that was out when I was young. When I first started dancing, the Charleston was already out, so we did that. When did they start calling it clogging? 
Uh, Phil, I don't really know what year that they started calling it clogging. But that's what you call it now, isn't it? Yeah, I call it, uh, what I do now is, is clogging. It's a type of clogging. What I do now is called freestyle clogging. Well, what's the difference between that and buck dance? Uh, there's a lot more steps to clogging than there are buck dancing. You don't have all that many steps in buck dancing, but you have a lot of steps. You can make up a lot of steps and use a lot of different steps in clogging that they don't do in buck dancing or that never has been done in buck dancing. When did you start wearing taps? I started wearing taps when I started tap dancing in Raleigh. And then uh, when I started clogging, I still wore taps because it, sound, it sounds good, sounds better. I only had two tap lessons in my whole life. There was one of my girlfriends was taking tap and she showed me twice how to do it. So from then on I could do it. And I used to tap dance on roller skates. That was over at WTVD Durham. I did some of that. Several people were trying it. They were they, we had seen it on we had seen it on a movie. And we all wanted to do it. And so several of us girls we kept trying till we learned it. And and we could do it. I think I could still do it. Have to practice a little bit, but I think I could still do it. But it was a lot of fun. And it was something different. I haven't tap danced on roller skates in a long time. But I can still do it. I'll do it for you one day. Well, I was dancing one day to uh, a record, and it was the blues, some type of blues song. And and I thought, gosh, this, I'd start off doing several different steps, and I thought, well, this would work perfect if I put it all together, the three dances. And so I put it together, and it, it looks good, and it's fun to do. It's called, the, it's called, I named it, the, the dance is the truck. That's been out a long time in bigger towns. And uh, the chicken has been out a long time. The chicken came out in, like in the, in the 50s. And the mashed potato has been out for years and years through the black people. So a black girl had taught me how to do the mashed potato. So I put all the dances together and I called it the trucking chicken mashed potato. That's the name of my dance, the truck and chicken mashed potato. This is the way I do the shuffle in my clogging steps. You always click a, click a heel on the opposite foot and click the toe. That's called a shuffle. And then when you put it together, then when you put it together, you shuffle. 